and welcome to the show today where we're going to take a look at United States Marine Corps Unit Awards and the personal decorations that these unit awards are the equivalent of. I think you'll see why United States Marine veterans are so very proud of these unit awards. The five United States Marine Corps Unit Awards, starting on your upper left, are the Navy and Marine Corps Presidential Unit Citation. Then next is the Department of Defense Joint Meritorious Unit Award, followed by the Navy and Marine Corps Unit Commendation. And the next one then is the Navy Meritorious Unit Commendation, and below that is the Navy E-Ribbon. And next we'll take a look at five Allied Awards, Unit Awards, awarded to the United States Marine Corps. The first one being the Philippine Presidential Unit Citation, awarded during World War II. And then the Republic of Korea Presidential Unit Citation, awarded to every Marine who served during the Korean War. We'll take a quick look at the Republic of Vietnam Presidential Unit Citation because it's really kind of obsolete and very few people received it. And then we'll take a look at the Vietnam Gallantry Cross Unit Citation, which every Marine who served in Vietnam also received. And then we'll finish up by taking a look at the Vietnam Civic Action Unit Citation. Just to emphasize the prestige of these unit awards, the Navy and Marine Corps Presidential Unit Citation comes just after all personal decorations and the Combat Action Ribbon. And then that is followed by the Joint Meritorious Unit Award, the Navy and Marine Corps Unit Commendation, the Navy and Marine Corps Meritorious Unit Commendation, and the Navy E-Ribbon. You will notice as you get down towards the bottom, the foreign unit awards, such as the Philippine, the Korean, and the Vietnam or Vietnamese, are shown there. In case you ask, this display shows all of the ribbon only and unit awards that would be worn on the right breast of the United States Marine Corps full dress uniform. The Navy and Marine Corps Presidential Unit Citation is awarded for gallantry, determination, and esprit de corps in accomplishing its mission under extremely difficult and hazardous conditions. But the collective degree of valor or combat heroism against an armed enemy by a unit that is awarded the presidential unit citation is the same as which would warrant the award of an individual Navy cross. The Marine Corps version of the presidential unit citation has navy blue, yellow, and red horizontal stripes and is the only Navy and Marine Corps ribbon having horizontal stripes. Additional awards of the Presidential Unit Citation are denoted by bronze or silver star. And yes, the unit with the most Presidential Unit Citations in the Marine Corps is the 1st Marine Division with nine Presidential Unit Citations. However, if your unit is awarded the Marine Corps Presidential Unit Citation, it does not authorize you to wear the Navy Cross, like, well, like Staff Sergeant Rodriguez Chavez, shown here, receiving the actual Navy Cross from the Commandant of the Marine Corps. While the Navy Cross is the personal or individual equivalent of a Presidential Unit Citation, there is a very nice Navy and Marine Corps Presidential Unit Citation commemorative medal for veterans who want to display it in their shadow box. When worn with full-size decorations, the Presidential Unit Citation goes on the right side of a uniform as shown here, in this particular case after the Combat Action Ribbon and before other unit awards and ribbon-only awards. Here's a very nice example of a World War II Marine veteran of the 1st Marine Division using the Presidential Unit Citation Commemorative Medal as the very last medal in his display to represent the Presidential Unit Citation ribbon shown just over his nameplate. Next in the order of precedence is the Department of Defense Joint Meritorious Unit Award which is awarded for superior joint activities or achievement in world combat or in national emergency or under extraordinary circumstances that involve national interest. The equivalent individual award is a Defense Superior Service Medal, as shown here. Additional awards can be used with a bronze oak leaf or silver oak leaf, which are the Department of Defense additional award devices. 
Here is a nice example that shows how the Joint Meritorious Unit Award would be displayed with one oak leaf cluster coming after personal decorations and the Combat Action Ribbon. The Navy and Marine Corps Unit Commendation is awarded to Marine units that have distinguished themselves by outstanding heroism in action against an enemy, but not sufficient to justify the award of the Presidential Unit Citation. A unit must have performed services of a character comparable to that which would merit the award of a Silver Star Medal for Heroism or the Legion of Merit for non-combat meritorious service to an individual. Additional awards of a Navy and unit commendation are denoted by bronze and silver stars. And there is a very handsome commemorative medal for veterans who want to represent the unit only award with a medal in their display or shadow box. Here's an example of the Navy and Marine Corps unit commendation being worn with other Marine awards. And here is the Navy and Marine Corps Meritorious Unit Commendation, which is awarded to Marine Corps units that have distinguished themselves under combat or non-combat operations by either valorous or meritorious achievement which renders the units outstanding compared to other units performing a similar service. To justify this award, the unit must have performed a service of a character comparable to which would merit the award of the Bronze Star Medal to an individual. And here is an example of a Marine Corps non-commissioned officer wearing after his personal decorations and the combat action ribbon, the Presidential Unit Citation the Marine Corps Unit Commendation, and the Marine Corps Meritorious Unit Commendation. And here are some examples of female Marines wearing the Marine Unit Commendation and Meritorious Unit Commendation after their personal decorations. This is Big Jim, a 90-year-old World War II Marine veteran, displaying his shadow box where he uses the Navy and Marine Corps Presidential Unit Citation Commemorative to represent the Presidential Unit Citation he won with the 1st Marine Division. The Navy E-Ribbon, or Battle Efficiency Ribbon, Battle E-Ribbon, was authorized in 1976. Marine Corps personnel assigned as ship company are eligible on the same basis as Navy personnel to be awarded this ribbon. The Navy E-Ribbon does not have a corresponding medal, meaning that by the way, when Marine veterans wear full-size medals or miniature medals, there is no way to display the unit awards unless you use one of the commemorative medals or commemorative miniature medals. Next, we'll take a look at five foreign unit awards presented to United States Marines since World War II. And the first is the Philippine Presidential Unit Citation Award, which was presented to certain Marine units for action during the defense and liberation of the Philippines in World War II. The next award was the Republic of Korea Presidential Unit Citation, which is authorized every United States Marine veteran who served during the Korean War in Korea, of course. The third award we're taking a look at is the Vietnam Presidential Unit Citation, which was also called the State of Vietnam Friendship Ribbon, and it was awarded, well, to certain units in the 1950s and is considered obsolete at this time. This Korean War veteran displays the Korean Presidential Unit Citation in his ribbon rack directly after all of his United States military awards. The Republic of Vietnam Gallantry Cross Unit Citation was originally issued in 1968 and retroactively backdated to 1961 and is authorized every United States Marine who served in Vietnam. It has the colors of the Gallantry Cross and the award of the unit citation was the equivalent of an individual award of the Republic of Vietnam Gallantry Cross. However, the award of a Gallantry Cross Unit Citation does not authorize an individual to wear the Republic of Vietnam Gallantry Cross. However, there is a very handsome commemorative medal for the Republic of Vietnam Gallantry Cross. For Marine veterans who want to have a medal to represent this particularly handsome unit award. The last of the awards is the Vietnam Civic Action Unit Citation with POM, or known as the Vietnam Meritorious Unit Citation with Civic Action Colors. 
and was awarded to a number of Marine Corps units during the Vietnam conflict. It was the unit equivalent of the Vietnamese Civic Action Medal as shown on the left. On the right is the Republic of Vietnam Civic Action Unit Citation Commemorative Medal, which many veterans use to represent the unit award. By the way, all of the information today came from my newest book, Marine Awards and Insignia, available for you at MOAPress.com or on Amazon. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as we enjoyed putting it together. If you did, give us a like or even better, subscribe. And always encourage the veterans of America to pull their awards out of that duffel bag or storage area and put them up on the wall so we can pay them the honor that they deserve. I usually get a lot of message traffic about the commemorative medals, so just to review, the Navy Marine Presidential Unit Citation Commemorative Medal is as shown here, which represents the Navy Presidential Unit Citation. The Navy and Marine Unit Commemorative Medal is shown here, and it's used to represent the Navy Unit Commendation Ribbon. The Republic of Vietnam Gallantry Cross Unit Citation Commemorative Medal is used to represent the Republic of Vietnam Gallantry Cross Unit Citation and is used in display cases by veterans. And the Republic of Vietnam Civic Action Unit Citation Commemorative Medal is also designed to represent the unit award. I especially want to thank the generosity of Medals of America and Fountain Inn, South Carolina for providing all of the awards that you saw today to include the commemorative medals.